Hey, my construction entrepreneurs, what's going on? This is Tyrone Jones with the Construction Entrepreneur School and Services. This is part five of five. This is the last part of this series on how to become a California licensed contractor for 2021. Hope you guys enjoying it up to this point. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's holding you back from getting your contractor's license? Could it be fees? And I mentioned before in the, <clears throat> one of the other series that I was gonna explain what are the fees, okay? So um, the original application, okay? This is uh, uh, exam or waiver for one application is 330. So once you fill out the application and whatever school you're with, if you're signed up to a school or um, if you're doing, you know, uh, self-study, once you fill out the application and you send that in, you send in that 330, okay? That 330 is non-refundable. You do not get that back, whether you are accepted or whether you're not, okay? That's a non-refundable fee, okay? <clears throat> this initial license fee, okay, is after you after you have passed the exam. See, this, this is the great thing about everything is that you pay your school tuition, right? And then if you're ready to, to, to fill out your application, then you can pay your 330 or you can wait 30 days and pay your 330, right? Um, and then you see this live, uh, this fingerprinting fee down at the bottom for uh, 75, it varies, right? Then you have the live scan fingerprinting costs so all these costs are not just all at once, you know? You got your school tuition, which is all at once or depending on what school you sign up with. And then you got the fees that are to the state, okay? This original application, that goes to the state, not the school, okay? Uh, the initial license fee that goes to the state, not the school. Uh, the fingerprinting fees that goes to the state, not the school. That's all part of the, hire, the, all part of the, uh, um, the application process okay uh the re-examination that's if you do not pass okay so if you don't pass then it costs 60 dollars to retake the test remember you have 18 months to retake you have from the first date of your test you have 18 months to you uh for you to retake the test you have 18 months to pass the exam or you have to start the process all over again Okay, uh, Department, of Adjusting, or Department of Justice processing fees is $32. You pay that to the state. The, the last one where I said, the, uh, go back here, we said the fingerprinting fee, that's who you pay to the live scan operator. The $32, which you actually pay to the state. Okay, um, uh, the Federal Bureau of, S of Investigation processing fee, also, get, also you pay that to the state as well. Uh, your school tuition, depending on what school you go to, you can pay anywhere from eight hundred to fourteen hundred, depending on selection, depending on what you what what you, what what selection they have available, what options they have for you to choose from. Okay, so basically, let's go over this again. So you got the application fee, which is three thirty. Okay, you got the uh, fingerprinting, live scan fingerprinting, which can cost you like I think the last person got it done in LA was. Uh, as of now, is September the 14th, 2020. Uh, that person paid $77, okay? Um, and then you got the, you got, uh, the live scan fingerprinting, okay? Then you got the processing fee of $32 and it's $17. After you pass the exam, you got another $200 that you need to pay to make your uh, license active. And then you got your, um, the fee for your bond. Right, and that bond fee is depending on your credit. I, I talked about that in um, in the other series. So if you're getting on this series now, and you're starting on series five. I want to make sure you go back to uh, to to the first video one to five. Okay. Okay. So when you purchase the 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 the, the material with your school uh, or uh, this particular school with the um, uh, construction entrepreneur school and services. This is what you're going to get, okay? A lot of people are like, oh, if I sign up school, what am I going to get? This is what you're going to get. You're going to get the law and business course, okay? This is going to cover uh, uh, everything dealing with uh, license law, mechanic lien laws, labor laws, 
business principles, uh, accounting, uh, all explained in everyday language. Okay, very simple to understand, but that's what you're going to get in this business, in the um, law and business trade course, in the law and business course. Then you're going to get the trade course. These are two separate materials, okay? Law and business is one, and then trade course is the other. Um, it, it's, um, it's, it's going to help you to, um, to understand mainly formulas, uh, it's going to have general trade knowledge. Now, listen, it's not going to teach you everything about your trade. It's going to cover a little bit about your trade, general trade knowledge. It's going to also be very extensive on the math side, the formula side for every trade, calculating square footages, figuring out how to figure out uh, how to how to estimate a particular job, figuring out how to figure out volumes and and uh, tonnage and 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 um. Uh, cubic yards and things like that. It's going to jump into the math. They're expecting you to know a lot about your trade already because one of the requirements is four years experience within a 10 year period. They know that a lot of people already have more than four years experience within that 10 year period. Okay. But they're expecting you to know about your trade. So that's why it's not heavily on the trade portion. Okay. It's extensive it's part about health and safety regulations. Okay, um, uh, we have a, a course that you can choose from that, that allows you to choose the contractor's license course and the contractor business course for 1500. Okay, now the reason why we offer this is that you can go through so many schools, but they don't help you. They don't teach you how to be successful in your business. So here it is They give you, I used to say this a long time ago is that uh, uh, when you're having a baby, right? You go to the hospital, you have a baby, you, you have the baby, now you're waiting to leave, right? You, you, they, they discharge you from the hospital, you got your car seat, you go out there to go put the car seat in, and you got all these nurses and doctors and, and everyone else in this hospital that can come out and teach you how to put this car seat in, and you're out there by yourself looking at YouTube videos, trying to figure out how to put this car, is it level? Is the strap down right? Is it tight enough? Do I got it in the right position? What I get, and you're trying to get this, 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 so, this, this love bundle home safely. And that's how it is. That's how I say it is with the, with the, with the schools that's out there. You sign up for these schools, you get your license and they just see you out into the world. And here you are, you got this new business and you don't know where to start. You don't know what to do and you have to learn, you know, reinvent the wheel. And a lot of us out there trying to figure this out, this is where we fail. This is where we lose everything. Trying to figure it out, learning on the backs of customers, learning on the backs of other contractors, you know, trying to pretend like we know what we're doing. As soon as something goes wrong, we lose everything. And then it's hard to start over when you just start it. So this is why we offer the contract of business course with the license course, okay? And with that, so, so if you purchase the contractor's license course by itself, it's $7.99, okay? Uh, you're gonna get the trade course material, trade course CD and DVD. Now we have live streaming. You don't have to worry about CDs and DVDs that is out. I don't even have a DVD, DVD uh, CD. I don't even have a DVD player. Uh, I do have one on my, uh, on my laptop. I don't even have a CD player in my car nowadays. So everything is streaming now, okay? You get the law and business course material and the law and business streaming, okay? No more CDs and DVDs. Uh, unlimited classes. Now listen, these classes, when we say unlimited classes, this cycle back over. There are about six classes, okay? Uh, um, uh, four law and business classes and like two, two trade math classes, okay? And then they just cycle back over. So you can actually keep going to the classes, uh, which I don't advise you should actually have a, uh, a date and time that you're gonna actually fill out your application so you have something to look forward to, okay? And then you get some online tests. And this online test is similar to the state exam, okay? Just exact the state exam is gonna, is gonna time you, uh, same amount of questions, and it's just gonna, uh, you're just gonna go through it as if you're going through the state exam. And then we got a flashcard study mode on the online test as well. Uh, with that, you get your login when you get your book to each trade online uh, 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 um, test and uh, law and business online test, okay? Now, 
with the contractor business course. This is awesome, I'm telling you, because we don't sometimes we don't even know what to do. Where where do we start at? Okay, once we get our license. What are we going to do next? So in this contractor course, we, we, we help you understand contractor insurance, contracts. We give you our contracts. You understand profit, how to charge, uh, 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 what's the structure behind knowing how, how, to, how to charge for a particular job, what should be your profit percentages instead of just guessing. We, we teach you about your overhead, understanding the structure of your overhead with the worksheet. Okay, we talk about mindset because this is very important when you're jumping out here. And especially if you're unlicensed now and you're doing work now, you already know it's a mindset. Okay. Uh, we talk about scheduling, estimating. Estimating is the big, it's the biggest part. If you don't estimate these jobs right, eventually you're going to go out of business. Biz and proposals, invoicing, accounting. Uh, uh, job tracking costs. If you get to a point where you need to start tracking jobs, tracking the cost, you know, a lot of times we don't do that starting out, but it's good to understand it and have that knowledge for when you do need to implement it into your business. Employee handbook, we're going to give you an employee handbook. So when you're ready to dish that out, uh, uh, it'll be ready to go. It is, I mean, when we first gave out handbooks, I started so many companies, but we just recently gave our handbooks and it was incredible. So uh, handbooks, um, we listen to your goals, right? Your dreams and aspiration. We, we, we listen to your vision on how to grow your company. And then we tailor everything to that. Okay. And then we make tweaks along the way with you. Okay. Next thing is you got to take action. It requires a ton of action to get from this point or watching these videos to sign up with a school to be serious about starting your construction business. Stop waiting. Stop waiting. Come on, guys. It's time to get your license. Okay. It, it is time. There's so many rules, regulations, laws that are coming out. Look at AB5 that's out now, which is restrict, restricting a lot of self-employed uh, uh, um, um, contractors to where you, if you're unlicensed and it's hitting so many industries. So you got to be careful with these new laws and regulations that's coming out. Get your license. I just broke this down to you in five series to let you know it's not as big as you, or it's not as difficult as you think. It is a big deal because once we have it, it's like a, a, a lifetime dream. I mean, when I first got my license, I was so excited, so excited. Um, but you gotta take the step. You must take the step. It's time. It is time. Okay. So that's the end of this. Hope you got a lot of information. Make sure you share this with someone. Uh, um, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, put on your notification bell for any upcoming videos we got coming out. I'm always posting. Uh, remember too, I am a contractor just like you. I want to help you out want you to succeed, make sure you visit our website, okay? www.constructionentrepreneurs.com. Check us out. We got a lot of info on there. We even have available classes on there. We got a class right now on there. May not last forever, but um, as of September 2020, right now we got a class on there is understanding your company overhead, okay? And we break down everything and give you the overhead sheet that you need to use to figure out your overhead. That class is $4.99. $4.99. Make sure you go check out the other classes we got on there. We got classes where you can learn about uh, how to build your labor rates, understand about labor burden, understand about profit margins. This is crucial, whether you're licensed or unlicensed. It, it don't matter if you want to start your license now or starting in three years. You need to learn these things. And it's best that you get things in now instead of later. We're so good with our hands and jumping into this trade that we fail to learn the admin side of it, the paperwork side of it. So go ahead and jump into those courses, get them while they're low, price low, cheap, and, and absorb this knowledge so you can apply it when it's time to implement it within your business. My construction entrepreneurs, I'm gonna let you go with that. Remember, hustle hard, then hustle harder. Catch you on the next one.